Let's go to Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Okay. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So what is that saying here? Let me highlight it. Let's make it, let me see. Let's make this orange. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? Red. It's not doing it. Okay, whatever. Let's make it blue then. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. What is that saying there? Just because you are calling on the Lord's name, just because you can imitate a Christian or show people or teach people about God, does not mean that you are going to make it to heaven. Okay, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So, what is this part here saying? Let me highlight this. Let's make it green. So, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So just because you can teach really well, just because you can preach, prophesy, do all of these great things of God, it does not mean that you are going to heaven because you are doing good works. What this is saying, in order to get to heaven, you have to follow the rules and regulations of the Bible. If you are not doing that, the good deeds that you are doing for people, you are doing it in vain. 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. So this is saying, God, haven't we done so many great things by your power? Haven't we preached really well? Haven't we prophesied to people? Haven't we got, gotten people saved? by telling them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Haven't we done great things by your power? 23. And then will I profess unto thee, or them, I never knew ye, <laughs> I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. That means you that have worked in sin, not following the rules and regulations of God. This goes with what I have been saying over and over and over and over again. It is not what you do for God. You can do very great things for God. You can get millions and millions of people saved. You can do great works for God. But if you are not following his rules and regulations, when you die, you are not going to get into heaven. Look at the green and the blue in verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, 
shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. This is not saying, well, because you can teach really well, you get to go to heaven. Or you prophesy really well, so you get to go to heaven. Well, you pass out gospel tracts and you are telling your family and other people about God. Because of those merits there, you get to go to heaven. No, God is looking at your life. Are you following his rules and regulations? That is primary. As you can see in verse 22, these people were so-called serving God by deed alone. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied? So they were prophesying in thy name. And in thy name have cast out devils. So they were casting out devils. And they have done many wonderful works. But the thing about it, they were not following God's rules and regulations. And this points out this once saved, always saved is wrong. Because if you look at verse 23, this is saying, Jesus is saying, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So that is sin. So God does care about sin. Some people say that we are saved by grace. We, we are saved by grace, but you are misunderstanding the whole purpose of grace. Grace does not replace righteousness. And you can't get saved based upon doing good deeds. Righteousness and good deeds are not the same things. Righteousness, following God's rules, good deeds, doing kind things for people are not the same thing. Prophesying is not the same thing as following God's rules and regulations. Teaching about the Bible is not the same thing as following God's rules and regulations. They are different. There is a particular way that God wants us to live. Anything outside of that, doing well for people, that is something else. This is why I tell people, if you are not serving God, doing all these things for God is cool, I guess, but you are doing it in vain if you are not serving God. What you should do is focus on yourself first. If your life is not right with God, your ministry should be to yourself. Get yourself right with God first, then worry about trying to get other people saved later. How can you... You're doing things out of order. Look at verse 23 and verse 22. These people thought they could get into heaven by doing good deeds for people. It does not work that way. God cares about good deeds, but he cares about righteousness first. Sanctification. I pray that this makes sense. I'm, I am really trying to break this thing down more and more and more and more. Think about... Uh, 
circle. And let's say that a circle has many parts. Those parts have to connect to each other. If it doesn't, you know that something is wrong. The Word of God. One part connects to each other. So when a person says something, and if it doesn't connect to that circle, I know that something is wrong. Everything has to connect to each other, like a, like a circle, piece by piece. If it doesn't, I know that something is wrong. So I pray that all of this makes sense. God bless.